Empty backfield. They throw it to Chris Durham. And he has first down yardage into Hawaii territory, shoved out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Out wide, you'll see Durham 16 get the pass, but watch number 20, Thomas Brown. Look at the block right there. Beautiful job on the lead, and then after that, Durham lowers his shoulder and runs through the tackle of Jacob Patek. First and 10 after the 14-yard pass completion. This is Thomas Brown, and he lunges forward inside the 40, spotted at the 39, a gain of six for Brown, who has been injury riddled the last two years. He is Georgia's sixth all-time leading rusher, but tonight is just his 12th start in the last two seasons. You see, he still finished with 700 plus yards this year, including 139 in the final game of the season against Georgia Tech. Brown again. First down to the Hawaii 32. Marino six 100-yard rushing games this season. And they'll give it to Brown again. And for the first time, slowed down at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a pickup of two. And they hand it off to Brown. And he just dances behind some of those big offensive linemen and very close to a first down. Look here, Trenton Sturdivant, a true freshman. See how he pulls and helps seal, and then Brown reads it, and he gets a second block. First down at the Hawaii 23. This is Marino. And was he down, or is he still going? You see where the official spots the football. This is what my coaches used to tell me when I was playing and all of, all my teammates. When you hit the ground, it's like an electric shock, or right? act like the ground's on fire. Hop right up and get back to the huddle. No Sean Moreno brings that kind of enthusiasm to the Georgia Bulldogs team. Moreno ranks with his 1,200 plus yards. He breaks it to the outside. Moreno, touchdown Georgia. It's amazing, it's the mirrors. And what they saw were 10 players from Hawaii in the box. Supposedly, that's what you do to stop the running game. Instead, Georgia's offensive line, Trenton Sturdivant, number 77, Chris Davis, 63, Fernando Velasco, 75, has been injuries. Same with Craig Lumpkin. He was their leading rusher last season and has missed nearly all of this year. This is Brown. That'll be a pickup of eight out to the 43-yard line. It's ball game. Back in his second go round as defensive coordinator in Hawaii, and Brown still on his feet inside the 40 to the 37 yard line. Nothing like a big isolation play, and look at the big guys. Two fullbacks in the backfield number 49, Sean Chappis, and number 36, Brandon Sutherland, in tandem with a big offensive line. And once again, against a loaded box, a missed tackle there by number 24, Desmond Thomas. They pitch it to Brown. And a nice play, charging from the far side. Stafford out of shotgun, inside handoff to Brown. And Adam Leonard steps up to make the hit. Stafford dumps it off to Marino, spins out of a couple of tackles, and bangs his way to the 10, first down dog. They've got Brown and Moreno in the game. Now watch what they do. They swing Brown, number 20, let the pursuit bypass, and dump it inside to Moreno. Now he gets Velasco, 75 out front. 67, Chester, Big Cheese Adams. And he gets all the way to the third level for a big pickup for the Bulldogs. Have them overcommit, hit him inside. Moreno will get it again. It's into the end zone for the second time tonight. that Marino is going to strike up glory, glory, hallelujah more than any player in Bulldogs history, <laughs> Herschel Walker notwithstanding. Sutherland, his first carry, and picks up a yard. Three backs, and they hand it off to Brown, and Ella Mimian steps right into the hole and slams into the turf. Third and two, they give it to the fullback, and Sutherland looks to have the first down. They hand it off to Thomas Brown, the lead blocker is Sutherland. Hard hit down at the 35-yard line, made by Eric Robinson. 
on a second and 10. Left side of the line, just zone blocking. Sturdivant 77 handles his guy at the front, allows Brown to get downfield. Great job by number 89, Bruce Figgins. Out of the eye formation, nearly lost the handle on the snap. And very close to another first down. It looks like Brown got there. And why Georgia is so tough to defense against a run. I mean, you go back to the Levince Dooley dogs of the 1980s. And since the decade turned in the 90s and now the next millennium, the second best rushing season this year for Georgia. Moreno looking for somewhere to run. Grabbing him from behind, Delamimian, along with help from Amani Purcell. Third and 24, all out blitz coming. The screen to Marino gets one block, but is tackled at the 35 yard line. This would be a 52 yard field goal try should they send Katu out there. Pitch to Thomas Brown. He is tackled at the 40-yard line by Jacob Patek, the senior out of Victoria, Texas. More of a power and speed guy would run away from you as well as run over you. Moreno running through would be tacklers and down to the 15. First down for the Gators. Opening minutes of just the third quarter, and Moreno already with a couple of touchdown runs in the game tonight. He is bottled after a three-yard pickup to the 11. That has been the story for Georgia tonight. Thomas Brown runs into his own man. And is thrown to the ground by Armani Purcell. Had help from Michael Lafayette last year. Was number one on the depth charts, and they get Thomas Brown the ball, and Thomas Brown dives into the end zone. So the senior, who just earned his degree, talked about the 21 credit hours this last semester to earn his degree. Celebrates by leaping into the end zone. A touchdown. His mom and dad have been married for 35 years. Talk nice. about a dog's life is pretty darn good. Well, it would be nice if all of them had that life. <laughs> yes, it would be. It would be nice if we had that life. What are you talking about? Greg Lumpkin gets the football. You know they so badly want to get this young man a touchdown. I mean, when you think that his freshman year in 2003 carried for over 500 yards, he missed the entire following season hurt. Came back, rushed for 335 yards as a junior, as a sophomore rather, and then was their leading rusher last season. In fact, the final two games of the year wins against Auburn and Georgia Tech. Lumpkin was the man. He was number one on the depth chart when the season began. He hurt his thumb, came back, hurt his knee, and has only played in a total of five. Yeah, they've been great. Just relentless the whole evening. And I don't want anybody to think that, uh, that I, I'm sitting up here part picking on Mark Rick. Not at all. I mean, we, he is a delightful guy. He's a kind man. Georgia has been spectacular on defense. No two ways about it. Here's Lumpkin, and he's tackled out of the 34.